All right, so I'm going to try playing the Ghost Survivors. Um, I'm actually going to give my thoughts on, uh, let's do the raccoon. I tried playing this a few days ago and nah, I couldn't, I didn't win at all. Um, but I'm also going to be giving my thoughts, a little review on the Resident Evil games I've played so far, um, for the channel. Uh, so, Resident Evil HD, Resident Evil 2 Remake, and Resident Evil 3 Remake. I was originally planning to just do a review for uh, the Resident Evil 4 Remake, um, but when I was writing my notes down for these games, I thought, let's just do... Let's, let us do a review for all three of them, and then I'll do a separate video for four. Um, and then when I did my Dead Space review, I just kind of did it over the me main menu screen. So I figured, let me just give you something to look at while I talk. So we're going to run around and do this. We're going to try. Um, it'd be really funny if I, uh, were to beat it while I'm doing this. Um, I'm not going to... Okay. Um... Anyway, so I'm sort of on a mission to go through the Resident Evil games, um, and I wanted to beat the first three, the remaster remakes, before ah oh, crap, before the fourth, the fourth one came out. So I started um, Resident Evil HD back in December. Um, okay. It's a little distracting. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but... So Resident Evil HD. Okay, so I played as Chris because I had played 7 and 8, so I was familiar with Chris. So that was my decision on picking him. Which, uh, maybe I should have picked Jill because she has uh, slightly better weapons and more space uh, to carry things. But, you know, I, I did finish the game, so I got it done. Um... <laughs> Okay, and um, I will say with that game, that did come out in 02 as opposed to, you know, 2019 and 2020 for 2 and 3. So I thought the graphics were still pretty good. Um, I had some, some difficulty with like controls, but that's just also kind of me. Um, the like the auto aim function or you know, it wasn't perfect. There was no crosshair, like, say, in this game, for example. Um, the fixed cameras created their own little difficult, you know, a little extra difficulty. But it was also nice. I, there were pluses to it, too. Um, just moments of, like, you'd enter a room and then the camera would be, like, right in your face. Oh. <laughs> um, it, it it definitely added to the game, but it also added to the difficulty for me anyway. I'm not, I've never, you know, not used to it. Um, but I did see that they were playing with the idea for the Resident Evil 2 remake to bring back the fixed cameras, and um, obviously they didn't. But that's okay. Um, yeah, so the game was, I found to be the HD, the first one. Um, I found that to be a little bit more difficult than, say, uh, 2 and 3. But I think also that had more to do with me. I also lack some intuition, I would say. I definitely... Uh, need help. Oh, wait. I definitely need help <laughs> um, in certain areas. Like, I, if you watch the gameplay, it's, it's a little rough the first 
a uh, few videos just because um just because I maybe it wasn't best to make a review trying to play um yeah so like I lack some uh intuition I guess so I I went the way I don't think the game wanted me to. Um, obviously, I could still go those ways, but um, it it uh one I think the game wanted me to go left and I'd go right, kind of kind of thing. Um, but that's you know that's my own fault. Um, whereas in two and three. You know, the game, I think, kind of leads you a little bit better. But that's also just me. Um, I do think that it was still a lot of fun. Um, a ton more puzzles in the first game than... Um, than in 2 and 3, especially 3. Um, the replayability is high because, like I said, I... I picked Chris, but then, you know, you can go back and play as Jill. Um, and which I will do. I definitely have plans to go back and play as Jill. Uh, like I said, a lot of fun. A lot of um, puzzles. Definitely the least amount of cutscenes of, the, of these games, um, of these first three. And that's that's fine. I do I do enjoy cutscenes and stuff, but um, as I go on with the reviews, you know, one of them had a lot of cutscenes. You know, the first Resident Evil HD did not have a lot of cutscenes in comparison. Um, like I just said, I don't know how good this. Oh crap. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> uh, let's take that out. Let's just get out of here. Uh, yeah, but it was fun. I have plans to replay Resident Evil HD. Um, I found, like I was saying before about, like, the graphics is in the fixed camera, the sort of old-school feel of it. Um, it, it brings charm, I think, to the game, too. Um, okay. That, you know, I like, I love these updated graphics and stuff. Um, I, I like the gameplay, and it's a lot easier for me, just admittedly. Uh, I'm not, a, you know, I'm not afraid to admit. Um, but... I don't know. It's a fun game. I know I'm not going in crazy depth here, and I'm thinking maybe playing this game is a little distracting, but um, there's a ton of fun. I'll play it again for sure. Um, I also have... When I got it, it came with Resident Evil Zero, so I do plan to play that as well. Um, but that also has that same style. Um, all right, so let's move on to Resident Evil 2, which is, I'm playing the Ghost Survivors, which is an extra mode for Resident Evil 2. Okay. So Resident Evil 2, I would say, God. Sorry for the, all the pausing. <laughs> I, this is definitely not a, a in-depth, uh, review with a lot of, you know, whatever. So, like I was saying, sort of, it was a lot of fun. Controls are a little bit easier. Updated, of course. It came in, out in 2019. It's, it's more updated for, like, Resident Evil 7 and then eventually 8. Um, it's more similar to those games, um, Obviously, like I was saying, felt a lot more guided. Um, I felt like 
the game was pointing me where to go more so than um, I didn't need to use my intuition so much because I lack some gamer intuition I suppose I don't know um, there were puzzles I thought the puzzles were a little bit easy easier not that puzzles in the first game were hard there were definitely some though that there were some I am ashamed I looked up in the first game and then there were, were some that uh, I felt like I had to look them up I didn't know how people solved them <laughs> Um, but that could just be me. I didn't have to really look up much in this game at all uh, for Resident Evil 2. Um, this game, Resident Evil 2 also has a ton of replayability. Uh, you got your A and B stories, two characters with A and B stories. You have these, the ghost, uh, the ghost survivors, which is what I'm playing now. There's three of them. Um, so it's not the main game. They contribute to the main game and then there's um the fourth survivor uh which you can unlock or buy i guess um this one is obviously more cinematic than uh the first the first game more cutscenes, a little bit more dialogue obviously i think when you have when you have um you know are you serious? Am I gonna die? Oh my god. When you have the uh, ability to create these graphics, I think, I think, you know, creating more cutscenes makes sense. Making it a little bit more cinematic makes sense. Um, Uh, yeah, so I had a lot of fun. I played as Leon. Um, again, familiar familiarity with the character, but um, I love to go back and play as Claire. Um, I didn't know when I was setting out if I wanted to do uh, Zero or Code Veronica, but I definitely want to do that. Um, the next, my next round of bunched games, I'll do. Veronica and five and six, I think. Um, just because I do want to play as Claire. Obviously, I can go back and play as her here, but um, I don't know. I just, that's just what these games have done is just, I know that there's a lot to criticize. I also, I don't think I said this at the beginning of the video, but I never played the originals of these three games. So I'm not hurt by any sort of changes or anything. Um, that were made. I do think that HD is probably the most um, true to the original, probably, I would say. Um, but I had a lot of fun playing Resident Evil 2. Uh, I do, you know, I'm playing the Ghost Survivors now. I, I do want to continue to play. I want to beat these if I can. <laughs> I'm not the best, I guess, but uh, but I'm having fun, and um, and that's I think what what's important. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to Resident Evil Three. Uh, so again, like the first one and the second one, I thought it was fun. Um, it was certainly the easiest. It was also the shortest. Um, It was probably, it's gotta be the least like out of the three um, because of the cut content. I sort of looked, I didn't, I thought I was gonna sit there and watch a bunch of videos about it, but honestly, I got the gist. I, they basically took out like half the game, <laughs> um, which as someone who didn't play, that would have been play the original, you know, it was still felt because it was it ended so quickly um uh even for me i just was like oh it's over like <laughs> it was kind of surprising um because these games aren't terribly long or anything like that but it did kind of feel 
quick. Um, also, like, a ton of cutscenes. Definitely the most. And I would say Resident Evil 2 has, like, the best balance as far as gameplay, having gameplay, cutscenes, you know, dialogue, things to pick up. Um, where Resident Evil HD was less, and then Resident Evil 3 was way more. <laughs> and I like playing games where there's not necessarily a lot of action, like this sort of choose your own adventure kind of quarry type games and stuff like that. But that's not necessarily Resident Evil. Um, what you're looking for in a Resident Evil game. They're not, I guess, you know, necessarily branded that way, like. Okay. Um, I still, like I said, I still had fun and I can still enjoy it. Um, I don't ha hate it, but I'm also, I don't know what I'm, what I missed out on either. I could potentially go back and try to find um, the original Nemesis game, but shoot. But, um, I don't, you know, I don't know. Um, I got to play as Jill, which was, it was fun. I hope they bring her back in nine. I hope we, you know, there's a lot of characters, Ada, Jill, Claire, who I wanna see them. Let me just move on from this. I want to see them back in the in the main story. Um, I will say the dodge mechanic. I know that they they introduced that in three, in the original three, and I'm oh man, I've never struggled so much at this part. Um, I loved it. That was a great addition. Uh, and then <laughs> as I gone back to play this. Um, I miss it. <laughs> I don't, I can't remember if that is in four or not. I hope so. Cause I really like, uh, I really like that mechanic for sure. Um, I don't know. People come sort of say, you know, they compare Nemesis and Mr. X between the two remakes. Um, I don't know. I... I thought Nemesis was a little bit more annoying, to be honest with you. A little bit harder to dodge. Oh, God. Well... Um... Also in Resident Evil 3, not a lot of puzzles. I don't know if there were any puzzles actually. Um, and this is, you know, Resident Evil games are like puzzle games. And you have to conserve your ammo and stuff, which is what makes them a little bit more interesting than other kind of shooting games. And, and I hear, you know, I mean, it kind of started with four, I suppose, but they kind of move away from, from, oh, nice, from like the survivalist, some way more shoot 'em up. Oh man. Um. Sorry for the pause. Like I said, this is just... I'm just giving some thoughts. This is not some deep... Some really deep thing. So I'm sorry if you were expecting... I'll put it... I'll put it in the title on YouTube. Not deep. Um... I even have, like, notes by me and I'm still... I'm still distracted. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, and then... Also in three, there's like no, no bonus content. Like there is, there's so much in this game. You have the DLCs and oh, I can take all of this stuff. Duh. Wow. 
Why did I not do that? Okay. Okay, so you can... You have the ghost survivors, like I said, the fourth survivor, and then there's the tofu survivor, which I wanted to play. I wanted to just jump right to that, but you have to, like, unlock or pay for it. Um... Uh, maybe I'll just take it. it by itself. I need it. Um. Yes, and then there was no- there was nothing in Resident Evil 3. I was gonna play whatever they had to offer. And then it didn't offer anything. It was this short game with no bonus content to even... Nothing like this. Just not- like, just nothing, really. Um... Oh my god, how did that- that missed all of them. Incredible. Oh crap. Alright. Is there a thing? Um yeah, I'm so just I'm trying to give my thoughts and I can't even think. Okay. So I can run around him. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, no. That might have been my best. My best attempt. So I'm sorry this has gone on long. Um, yeah, I guess if I were to rank the first three, I don't know. I I would definitely say that HD and the two remake are definitely better than three. Um, they're both have more replayability. Um, they're more balanced. I would say 2 is definitely the most balanced between, um, you know, having the cutscenes, having the lore and dialogue, and also having plenty of gameplay and puzzles and, and things like that. It's definitely a balance between those two. Um, but I wouldn't put it, like, head and shoulders above the HD remake of Resident Evil. Um, like I said, also... I plan on going back to that game, um, uh, almost to vindicate myself as a as a gamer, I suppose. Um, but I think I'll have more fun now that you know I've played it once. I think it, that only adds to adds to the game because now I'll know what to do. But um, I mean, I'm in, I'm very much enjoy, enjoying the the ride of going through these games so far. Uh, yeah, so I guess, I don't know, maybe I would put two slightly over one, um, and then three in third place. Um, I wasn't as hurt by the cut content as, uh, people who played the original, um, but it didn't, like I said, a lot of cutscenes, a lot of dialogue, um, every time I went to say something, 
a character started talking or a cutscene would start and I wasn't, you know, didn't have like a lot of time between. Um, and that, I mean, if you're just playing, you know, to your, with, you know, you're not streaming the game while you play and feel like you have to talk during it, it, it might be a different experience for you. Um, but I didn't hate it, you know, I didn't hate it. Um, I'm looking forward to Resident Evil 4. I'm expecting it to be most like Resident Evil 2 remake, to be honest. Um, going back as Leon. Um, maybe next time I'll write a whole script instead of uh, bullet bullet points of my thoughts and and maybe I, I won't be playing such a distracting game <laughs> um, while I do it, uh, while I give my thoughts. Um, I just want to make sure I didn't, I don't forget anything. I think that's it. I mean, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying this ride so far. I'll play four uh, when it comes out. I'll probably take a little Resident Evil break because I've been playing Resident Evil and then I also played Dead Space, so uh, just a little break from the survival horror for a minute, but I'll get back into the Resident Evil universe and and play a bunch of other games as well. Um, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Sorry about all of the dead air. Um, I thought playing a game while <laughs> giving my thoughts would be more interesting than just a main menu screen, but I don't know. Maybe it's less interesting uh, <laughs> to have all that dead air. I don't know. Um, but if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all that. Look out for Resident Evil 4 gameplay. Um, I'll link to the playlist of the other Resident Evil games that I talked about in this video. Um, there's definitely way better videos with more in-depth analysis and opinions and things like that out there that have already been done. I've watched them myself. Um, but I just wanted to get my, my thoughts out there because of course I do. <laughs> um, again, thank you for watching. And that will be it for this video. Bye.